Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Marion. In today's video, this is going to be the MRI registry review questions for the physics part two. In this section, we are going to cover artifacts and MRI. There may not be a lot of questions on this one because the artifacts chapter, um, it has like a little bit of information, but some of the terms in there, um, it's just kind of obvious that you know what the answer is. So I thought about making like a different like study guide for artifacts. If you all want me to, just let me know in the comment box. This is the information on the ART website. Since I do have my certification through them, I am following their content specification. But you can use this if you're taking the AMRIT um, board exam or if you're taking ART for MRI. All of the questions, all of the information can be used to pass both exams. So for the ART, um, it's going to be 106 questions for physics. So physics is the largest part of this test. So make sure that you know your physics because you may not score as well or as high if you are missing a lot of physics questions. Now is Q&A time. Whenever I do my Q&A videos, I like to read the questions, the answers, and the explanations. I do this for several reasons. Um, it takes me a long time to make these presentations and these questions because these are my own questions. I'm not copying them from a book. So I do not want anyone to just take my content. So this is why I always just show my face, um, say my voice or have my voice in it. If the audio is bo bothering you, just take it out of the video or just mute the video. For question number one, which artifact produces replications of anatomy that is moving across the image in the phase encoding axis? Is it a lazing artifact, ghosting artifact, flow artifacts, or more artifact? I'll give you just a second to just take a look or think about the answer. The correct answer is ghosting artifact. Ghosting artifact, also known as phase mismapping artifact, produces replications of anatomy that is moving across the image in the phase encoding axis. Phase mismapping occurs from anatomy that moves a lot throughout the scan. This anatomy moves along the phase encoding gradient. An example of this would be an abdomen scan. Question two, which artifact reveals the anatomy outside of the field of view that is folded onto the anatomy that is inside of the field of view? Is it more artifact, truncation artifact, chemical shift artifact, or a lazing artifact? The correct answer is a lacing artifact. This artifact, also known as wrap artifact, is an artifact that involves the anatomy that exits outside of the field of view. This artifact folds on top of the anatomy inside of the field of view. So I also see this occurs on like a sagittal brain where the nose is starting to wrap into the, um, the head, or you can see this on your feet. MRI exams. So normally what I do to fix this, I increase the field of view and I also increase the oversampling. If you, well, I'm using the term oversampling because I use Siemens. I'm not sure what that is called on another scanner, but I use the oversampling and just increase it. So if the oversampling is at um, 50, I may, I may increase it to 75, 80, maybe even a hundred depending on how bad the wrap was. Question three, which of the following is the cause of misplacement of signal from fat within an image? A lacing artifact, chemical shift artifact, truncation artifact, 
or zipper artifact. And if I'm going too fast with the slides, you can always just pause it and um, have more time to think about the answer. Chemical shift artifact is the answer. A chemical shift artifact causes a misplacement of signal from fat within an image. This is considered a misrepresentation artifact. Slight differences occurs in the resonant frequencies of different types of molecules, such as fat and water. Question four, a ring that has a dark signal around organs where fat and water occurs within the same voxel is called, is it frequency wrap, phase wrap, truncation artifact, or out of phase signal cancellation? Out of phase signal cancellation. Out of phase signal cancellation causes a ring of dark signal to occur around certain organs. This happens where fat and water connects within the same voxel. Question five, which artifact creates a banding artifact at the interfaces of high and low signal? A lacing artifact, chemical shift artifact, more artifact, or a truncation artifact. Truncation artifact. This artifact is also known as a Gibbs or ringing artifact, which occurs where parallel lines appear near sharp edges or highly contrasting interfaces. A low intensity band that runs through a high intensity area is created. Question six, which artifact is caused by radio frequency or if leakage from outside or inside the MRI scan room? Is it a lacing artifact, magic angle artifact, truncation artifact, or zipper artifact? Zipper artifact. This artifact is caused by RF leakage from outside or inside the scan room. This leakage can be due to issues with the scanner's RF shielding, like a faulty door seal, or from external sources like electronic equipment or light bulbs. How I normally fix this error is I keep the scan door or the scanner door closed for the MRI room. Sometimes, whenever Techs or scanning patients, they like to open a door real quickly, run in, grab something, run out. This is something that can cause those zipper artifacts because the RF leakage is getting in whenever you are opening and closing the MRI door during scans. Question seven, which artifact is seen as zebra lines on the edge of the field of view? Chemical shift artifact, more artifact, Truncation artifact or zipper artifact? Moore artifact. A Moore artifact is often called a zebra artifact or zebra stripes because it appears as alternating light and dark bands on the image. This artifact is caused by the interface patterns by factors like elasing and magnetic field in homogeneity. You can see the zebra lines on the edge of the field of view on MRI images. I normally see this on abdomen scans whenever I'm doing abdomen scans, but you can also see it in the chest area during a chest scan. So you can see the zebra lines like on the outside, um, let me see if I can point to it for you. Let's do it in red. 
So you can see those zebra lines right there on the edges. So that's where you'll see it kind of like on the edges where the arms are located at. Question eight, which artifact creates an abnormal high signal intensity in tissues that contain collagen? Magic angle artifact, more artifact, truncation artifact or phase mismapping artifact magic angle artifact more artifact truncation artifact or phase mismapping artifact magic angle artifact the magic angle artifact occurs when tissues with organized collagen, like tendons and ligaments, are orientated at approximately 55 degrees to the main magnetic field. An abnormally high signal intensity is created in tissues that contain collagen. So an example of this would be tendons and ligaments. So whenever you're doing your um, MRI knee scans, pay attention. Your MRI shoulder scan, just pay attention to this area. Question nine, which artifact creates a loss of signal in affected slices? Aliasing artifact, cross excitation artifact, flow artifact, or magic angle artifact? Cross excitation artifact. This is also known as crosstalk. It's an artifact that occurs when a radio frequency or RF pulse that is meant for one slice excites adjacent slices. This can lead to a loss of signal in those affected slices. Question 10. Which artifact may occur when there are different degrees of signal from blood vessels and CSF? A lacing artifact, chemical shift artifact, equipment false artifact, or flow artifact. Flow artifact. Flow artifacts are caused by the movement of fluids from blood and cerebrospinal fluid during image acquisition so um, i normally see this whenever i am like taking images where i see the a order i normally see like flow artifacts coming from that area you can see flow artifacts like coming from like across the eyes as well during some scans and then you can also see it on spines i see it a lot on spines as well so um, just be on the lookout for those whenever you are scanning. When I do see them, I, I see them on like the axial images of the thoracic spines. All right, so I want to give a shout out to um, these people who commented on my last MRI questions video that I made. I have another one as well. The first one I made is about patient safety in MRI. A lot of people are really watching that. I thank you all. And then I have this one. This is the second one that I made. Um, a lot of people is watching that. So let me highlight it. So just in case you want to go and watch it, I can try to remember to um, link it in the at the end of the video. I try to remember to like link it at the end of the video, or I will put the playlist in the description box. But um, if you want more videos, just please leave a comment, a thumbs up. It just lets me know that these videos are helpful, that you would like more to study for or from. Um, because I can get like pretty busy with the other degree that I'm pursuing now in radiology where I have to write a lot of papers, um, do a lot of tests, assignments. So this is pretty time consuming doing this if no one is going to watch but i appreciate the ones who are watching 
commenting, giving the video a thumbs up for me. So, um, other than that, I just want to do a special shout out for these people. I think there, there are more, um, on the other video, but this is the last video that I received where they was like, Hey, we, um, uh, looking for more videos pretty much. But other than that, thank you all for watching. Please give the video a thumbs up if you found it to be helpful or if give the video a thumbs up if you want more review questions and answers. I can also do um, like um, MRI registry review playlist for y'all where I put more videos in there. I try to do one or two, but it didn't get a lot of views. So that's why I wasn't putting out more of them. But if you want to see more, comment below or give the video a thumbs up. Thank you all for watching.